best episode coming up next week for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Because let me just be honest, y'all are boring the shit out of me with these drawn, dragged ass storylines. Let's go and get into it. First, before we even get into the Love and Hip Hop Hollywood review, I want you all to get a chance to go check out www.justinjust. Not www. Let me sip my drink. JustinJ1232.com. Please check it out. Um, the link is below. Check it out. Tell them what you think. Shop around. Order you a shirt, honey. Get you some shirts. And everybody been pre-ordering them some shirts. And I'm just like, okay, the numbers are doing really, really good. Like, I'm happy. Like, people are really, really excited and stuff. And they're coming on the blogs and they're looking at it. And I just, I'm just really supportive. I appreciate it. You all know I have to do my plugs to let you all know what I'm doing. Um, because nobody else is doing it but me, so I have to be my own self-promoter, which I don't mind, because I love my brand and I love my name. So let this be with that being said, let's go and get into this love and hip hop review. Um Thiz asked his asked um what did he ask? What's that plastic girl? He asked plastic Pelly, Telly, Belly, Booty ass. Um he asked what's her name? You know, um I want you to be in my video. He asked the hip hop plastic rapping whore. I want you to be in my video. Um, and you know, my video, and she, she turned around and then Fizz turned around and asked his baby mama. I'm confused, like Fizz, if you was gonna do that, I felt like you should just act one person and just not ask anybody else. Like you should not have asked anybody else. Like it should not, you should not have asked anyone else that, you know, I just, you why? Why did you go from asking Nikki, Miss Plastic Nikki Baby, um, Pussy Made in Pakistan, why did you why did you have to ask her? I just didn't understand that. You then you turn around and ask your baby mama. And then you ask your baby mama and she just excited and she feeling some type of way like y'all better to get back together. I'm gonna get to that later. Amazon and Miles ends up talking and you know, her neck is doing all the talking. Um, I just don't know why they meeting up because with all the shit that's going on and said they said that Amber and Miles is cousin. I don't really believe that though. Um, I just don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I believe that at all. I just really don't. But you never know, honey. This is Love and Hip Hop. Uh, and this is a nigga Scott um nigga Scott Young production. And she's just the um she is just the the um the financier of, of this shit. She is just She's over all this shit. She owns all the souls. Like, you know, when they're not performing, when they're not doing it anymore, they, she just sucked them in her eye. Um, Shane Soon style, okay? Did y'all did y'all see what, what happened to Malama? What happened to Young Bird? All these folks have been sucked into nigga Scott Young's eyeball and her wig. So, nigga Scott Young, Mama Scott Young, I just want to know, what are you doing with these, you know, these people who were on the Love and Hip Hop franchises? They were not doing a damn thing, and you had to execute them and suck them in your eyes. No Raven Simone style. Um, so they talking, and she's like, you going to do your thing? I'm going to do my thing, and da-da-da-da. And I'm just like, okay, girl, you know, it's kind of drawn now, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Moniece ends up telling, um, after, you know, Fizz and warmed her pussy up. He just said, I'm here. She feeling some type of way. She just like, you know, I'm feeling some type of She telling Tiara, I'm, I think I love him. I think I love him. And we're trying to, I'm trying to figure out what made, what changed the game for you to be in love with this man. Like, she just had a, oh my gosh, I'm in love, but you still talking to Richie, Richie Penny. So I'm not understanding it. So um, she ends up, you know, I just don't understand that. I just don't. She ends up telling, you know, what's name? You know, what if we got back together? What if? What if? And Fizz hit her ass with the friends on. He's just like, I'm just not really feeling you that way. Um, to be honest, I just really needed you in the video because I needed the tax cut. Because you all know, when you fill out those ten, um, whatever those forms are, honey, when you get a job, you know, you fill them out and they ask you, have you had a job? Are you on food stamps? When you answer yes to those questions, you've been unemployed more than six months, that job get a tax credit. So we know Monique ain't got no damn job. That's why her ass ain't got her son. So she is a tax credit. So I don't blame uh, Fizz, baby on Fizz for hiring her ass on his part-time. I mean, some work isn't better than none, honey. Um, I, You know, Monique, I just don't know what to tell you, girl. Like, you got friends on, and girl. You know what? As soon as Fizz, if Fizz would have friends on me, bitch, I would have unfollowed him. Unfollow um, him, unfriend, um, um, 
on um, friend, on um, follow, on um, subscribe, on the thing, honey. I would have baby blocked. You ain't gonna friend zone me, bitch, because I get real petty when I get friend zone. I unfriend motherfuckers and I unfollow them, bitch. I don't need to see you, ho. You don't exist. And that's just me being petty. That's just me being petty. That's just me being petty as hell. So I would have unfriended the hell out of his ass. Um, that's what you should have did. But she just cried me a river. So they got it together. I don't know. Hopefully they can get it together. But the feels just budget, budget small. Then he was doing that damn hip hop rat up rapping auto tune shit. That shit was so terrible. What else was going on? Then feels so messy. He goes and tell Nikki exactly what Monique said. Like that was a certified bitch move. Like Fizz. If I thought you was a bitch, like I do, really did a bitch move. Like it, like I just don't like, like. I can see if you went telling you told Nikki's business to your to the mother of your child because y'all have a different relationship. But for somebody who you know y'all don't have any kind of connection with, for you to share the information with the mother of your child, like that's your child's mother, and you share information like making her seem bad, that was kind of a real bitch ass move, and I really, really expected more from you. But you know what? I expected a single from you, and you still have not got there yet. So you know, life sucks. Okay, AT and T style, life happens. Okay, but you should forget to pay your bill. Obviously, this forgot to pay some. Hell, what else was going on? Prince and Ray J just seem just can't get together. Um, speaking of another friend zone, honey, uh, Princess just wants to, you know, she just wants to move on with her life, and she's just now feeling Ray J. And Ray J just like he didn't talk to the hip hop rapping teeth ass Max, honey. Max teeth so damn fucked up that every time he talk, he might the words might be coming out straight, honey. But when they go through them, when they filter through them bad ass grill, bitch, they start getting auto tuned, chopped and screwed. I just cannot understand Max a million teeth. I cannot deal with you. Your teeth around here look like broken glasses and broken dreams. I need you to do something about that. Now I don't have no problem with somebody with some, you know, I, I actually find, you know, a guy with a gap cue, certain things, but bitch, that is not your that cannot be your trademark. Them raggedy ass gutter gutter. No ma'am. No ma'am, bitch. I'm tired of your um that damn gator um thing and the game I used to play taking things out, honey, and then I just feel like you just, you bitch, you are the new Pac-Man, honey. I'm just not here for your terroristic ass teeth. I'm just not. Terroristic teeth ass Max. I'm not going to deal with them, honey. Max a million grills, I will not, bitch. No, ma'am. Honey, your teeth on here looking like they'll run through some um some coffee beans. No, ma'am. Not on my watch. Not on my brush. Not on my toothbrush. Not on my fucking floss. No, ma'am. What else is going on? Max teeth looking like the damn thing that's... When you you tearing the damn aluminum off the aluminum foil off the rental thing, honey here, okay, just yah yah, bitch yah. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't forget what I'm talking about. So, you know, Ray J wants to get back together with Princess, and Princess just like I gotta move on. And Princess, trust and believe, you need to move on and do something else because Ray J is just not. Ray J is just like he like he does not want to be lonely. That's all it is. You ever have some people who not necessarily don't want to be in a like it's not that, you know, they don't want to be in a relationship, but they don't want to be lonely. And, you know, sometimes I, you know, I feel like that sometimes I have to get myself together. It's like sometimes I do a mild conversation, but then I know certain people just don't be my cup of tea. They just don't be my cup of tea and I just keep them there. Well, I used to do that. I don't do that shit no more. I'm delivered from that. But, you know, some people just, you know, right here and I just, you know, just at this point, I just think that's what you want, Ray J. You need to leave Princess alone, let her find and move on by her business, honey. But Princess ended up saying the reason why she probably dislikes Ray J so much and the thing she had problem because she had a little, you know, problems with her father and all that type of stuff. And it kind of lost me a little bit. I didn't know what was going on, so I'm just going to move on from there because that put me to sleep. All this shit put me to sleep. Um, what else? Uh, Whitney Houston's um, only God daughter, you know, spoke and she was talking about you know her daughter her sister having ms and you know the story is cute and i just it just i don't know i felt like we was listening to rap music and, and ratchet music and you know popping ad then we went to never would have made it and it was just kind of i think they should just put that in the beginning and then end it with it because it was just I, it caught me off guard and it, that ended up putting me to sleep too so i was just a little bit in and out, honey. Loving hip hop. This y'all did not give it to me this this week, honey. It was tiring as hell. 
um, what else was going on? Tierra um, ends up, you know, popping up at the, she's telling, we in this bitch, we in this bitch. Baby, she done popped up on the damn, um, what is that shit? That dry ass fashion show, honey. And Hazel E left. She said, bitch, you ain't gonna knock my nose off, bitch. I just got this whole duct tape back up. You won't do it, bitch. I ain't got no insurance, honey. Mona Scott already told me I ain't filmed these many episodes, so I ain't gonna get because y'all know Mona Scott say if you don't film, if you don't film in the damn episodes, you don't get no check, honey. So if you if you didn't do no film, you ain't featured on there, you don't get no check, honey. You don't get no check, honey. Mona Scott Guyong has remixed the game, honey. I don't blame honey. Taking y'all corn. One soul at a time. So, um, Hazel, yeah, I think this is around the time she said she quit the show, but girl, it ain't number two more episodes left. Like, the way she quit was so dramatic. Like, girl, you just left the, the fashion show. And everybody going off about, oh, the fashion show. Um, oh, the fashion show. You can't believe. Girl, we get to the fashion show. Y'all got this dirty ass red carpet laid out. These chairs. Y'all didn't have enough time to go, you go get some pillowcases. Y'all didn't have no seat covers or nothing. Like, bitch. Y'all had, like, it was just like them ratchet ass red and black chairs. Y'all sitting down. Wasn't nobody barely there. The child, it, it, it was terrible. It was terrible. Y'all had all type of fashions. The, the setup looked terrible. Y'all had underwear models. I just, it was just too much going on. It was too much for me. Just too much for me. Um, and then Tierra walked in with these damn plastic cut out ass, um, Construction paper ass outfits like girl these construction paper ass blazers and them blazers looked at basic bitch who you thought you was Cruella de Fail cause bitch you was not Cruella de Vil honey cause at least she had some sickening pieces some sickening style you had these Dalmatian ass um outfits girl and white and black and bitch they looked like they was gonna play like girl it was tired honey it just looked basic as hell and Tierra Marie you in bed I told you you need to come up with your own crock pot line. You you need to come out with a cookbook, not me see all this style. We don't want no more music from your ass. But get us a cookbook. Get us something like girl, give us some chicken noodle soup for the soul or something. Sister Big Bone, that's what you need to do for us, Tia Marie. Just like girl, selling pieces and shit that you can't fit. It's just not gonna do it for me. It's just not. Come with a big girl line or some shit. I thought that'd be different. I mean, girl, it would been cute. Like you can't even fit that shit you trying to sell. Like, girl, be what you are. Be what you are. I, it's a song or somewhere like I don't know. Um, I think there's a zebra branks, but I can't remember. Uh, baby, but Tierra had me. Yes, we up in this bitch. That shit was fun. What else was going on? So, um, Ray J ass got friend zone too by Princess. Honey, Princess told his ass, no, ma'am. Um, we, I'm good. I feel like you know, white resembles fly on um, friendship, and you know we not friends. We just need to stay friends, bitch. Ray J didn't know how to take her, baby, because men ain't used to getting friends on like that, baby. He shut it, she shut it down. Good look for you, princess. Shut that shit down, because Ray J don't want to do shit. But you know what? You was on the shade room not too long ago, and you were sitting here saying that you were um you was engaged to Ray J. So, girl, what is it this week? Okay, I'm going to pull out a shallow hair to show your ass. Bitch, we want to know, Okay. If you get married, we need to know. So, is y'all get married? <laughs> the people say y'all get married. Is y'all get married? We need to know, honey. Uh, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Shallow Heritage on YouTube. Very funny guy. I love my guy. Uh, what else is going on? Um, The girls all meet up. He said, I'm, well, you know, I don't know why they had to meet up. Tierra Marie, Tierra Marie, Moniz, um, Nikki Baby, Miss Plastic Baby, her titties, her ass, and her pussy made in Pakistan. And then Princess met up. And I just didn't understand what was the purpose of it because they don't do nothing but fight. And sure enough, drinks start flying and shit. And Moniz looked like she was ready to go in. Moniz and Princess fighting. Very interesting. I would have loved to see it. I would have loved to see more of it. I thought it would have been really cute because, baby, what's the name? Both of them hoes is crazy as hell. And I cannot wait to see Moniz jump across that damn furniture from uh, Ikea, honey. The one that Fra Malone needs to buy the discount right to, to finally get some furniture in that empty ass house. She jumped across that furniture because she was ready to beat the dog shit out of your plastic face ass, bitch. You built face ass, bitch. I, will, I hope she beat your ass because, Nikki, baby, I'm not featuring you. You always hide behind security. You want them, hold my baby so they won't fight me type of hoes. But this episode of Love and Hip Hop was all right, bitch. I damn near died just sleeping, honey. That's all I got. Y'all follow me on Twitter, JustinJ1232.com, all that type of shit. Now, I'm talking y'all later. See you soon.